Hello everyone and welcome to another one of our videos. Today I'm going to be doing a little quick install video of this Asus PCE AC55BT wireless card. I've seen a lot of other videos on YouTube that are a little bit longer, go more in depth. What I'm going to do is show you what this thing comes with, show you how to install it in kind of your average PC, and that's going to be the extent of this video. So the reason I'm installing this is because I have a PCI wireless card, very very old wireless card, that gave up the ghost in this old computer here going to upgrade it to a modern AC card because the rest of my network is uh, entirely AC, including all of my clients. So I'm going to go ahead, pop open the computer, open up the box, show you what it comes with, and throw the card in the computer. Alrighty, so the new wireless card comes with, obviously, the card itself. comes with a little USB cable to plug into a USB header on your motherboard to connect uh, the Bluetooth module that's on the card, and it comes with a Wi-Fi antenna. So this is an external antenna. You can stick it on your desk, on top of your computer, wherever. It's going to help you get better reception. So, in order to remove the old wireless card, um, if you're in the boat like I am and you have it in a PCI slot and you're replacing it with a PCI Express card, you're going to be using a different slot. So, in order to remove the old card, you're going to take any antenna that may be on the back off. You can see there's this normal little antenna on the back of this one. And then once you've done that, you have a screw, just like any standard PCI or PCI Express card. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Once that's out, you should be able to wiggle the old card out. Now, because of the type of case that this is, um, it has punch outs in the back. Some cases they have uh, PCI slot covers that you can unscrew. This one doesn't. This is a less expensive case. This was a budget build for somebody. So I'm going to have to punch this out. I'm going to do that off camera just because that's going to vary per case and because I'm going to have to get where the camera basically is sitting right now. So I'm going to go ahead, punch that out, cut back. I'm going to show you how to install the new card. At this point, I have the knockouts on the back knocked out. That was a bit of a pain in my butt uh, because the way that this case is designed, I had to pull out the motherboard to do that. But if you have a factory stock computer or one with a better designed case, you probably won't have to do anything of that sort. So once you have your slot opened up and you're ready to install your new card, all you have to do is take the card itself, line it up with the slot like so, rock the card into the slot, which may be easier said than done. There we go. And there we go. So now all I have to do is throw a screw in there and then I'm going to do that off of camera and come back and show you where to plug in the USB internal cable for this card. All right, I have the USB cable plugged into the card. Uh, both ends are the same. This end should be pretty self-explanatory. There's only one place to plug it into on the card. And then on the computer side, assuming that you have an open USB header, which most computers do, you're going to plug it in there. On this computer, you can see I have the front USB running to this header right here, which is USB 7 and 8. This is USB 9 and 10, and this is USB 11 and 12. So all you need to do is take the connector, figure out which pin is your dead pin, which in my case is this corner right here. Plug it into the connector on the motherboard, and you're done. So that's it for the internal wiring. As long as you don't have any other cards to reinstall, all you need to do is close up the case, and you should be ready to turn on the computer and get everything set up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, plug the computer back in, wrap everything up, and turn it on. See if this card's automatically recognized. If it is, I'm going to run some speed tests and we'll see what difference it makes. Okay, we are here now. We have the computer booted up with the new wireless adapter installed, all the drivers installed automatically, and I made sure to update them through Windows Update just to make sure I had the latest versions. So we're here on speedtest.net. Go ahead and click Go, and we'll see what happens. All right, so straight away that ping is definitely a lot better than it used to be. That was, uh, with the previous wireless adapter, about somewhere between 20 and 50 milliseconds, depending on uh, time of day and everything. This download speed is lower than I generally see, but still not bad compared to what it was. Uh, with the old failing adapter, it was about 1.5 megabits per second. Um, you can see it's pulling about 50. I'm on an over-provisioned 150 megabit connection uh, down and 10 up. So generally speaking, I see somewhere around 175 uh, and 12 wired and somewhere around 125 to 150 and 10 wireless, somewhere in that range. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like this is a little bit slower, 
but if we retest, we may see some different results as well. Overall, definitely should be a great solution if you need a PCI Express wireless adapter. Um, generally speaking, from what I've seen on Amazon, there's a couple of different good ones, this being one of them, and I believe one from TP-Link being basically the other highest rated one. For me, it's a toss-up. I've had negative experiences with TP-Link in the past. I've had more positive experiences with Asus, um, but that said, the adapter that was previously on this computer was an Asus adapter that failed, so eh, take that for what it is. Um, I'm happy. This is a computer that's just for bill paying, that sort of thing, so this will suffice plenty just fine. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you found this video informative, and I'll see you in the next one.